Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Travis Keller live here in Harrisburg. As you can see, there's a bear that was found in Harrisburg. I'm here speaking with somebody in the Game Commission. Sir, can you tell us a little about what happened here today? Well, this little guy's a year and a half old. He might have got kicked out by mom, but most likely he got in town here and got confused. And uh, with everybody following him and following him around and all the traffic and everything, he got nervous and ran up the tree here behind me. So we had to sedate him. And uh, I'm just doing some tests on him right now to make sure he's in good shape. How much would you say this bear weighs? About uh, 80 pounds. If you want to hang on a second, I can let you know for sure. Yeah, fantastic. And ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who are probably going to ask, I'm in the area of Green Street. I'm right beside this bear. They tranquilized him out of the tree. And now Game Commission is just working on him. Uh, speaking with residents, uh, for those of you asking, the bear is not dead. He's tranquilized. Their Game Commission officer told me he just they may have been kicked out of the den by his mama. For those of you asking, we're in Harrisburg in the area of Green Street. We're behind a He's right now. He's 100 pounds, we just heard. Roughly. Roughly. So what's going to happen to him next? Well, as you can see, every bear that we touch in the state of Pennsylvania, no matter how we touch it, they get tags. These are the tags right here, okay? They're sequential numbers, and they also have Pennsylvania Game Commission on them. Just because he has two tags doesn't mean that he's anything other than we touched him. He's not a nuisance bear. He's not going to get killed or anything else like that, okay? When we, when we attach the tags, it's so we can track them. As he gets older, if we catch him again, we just pop these numbers in our computer, we can tell where he came from and where he was touched. So a lot of people are asking, you know, the bear obviously looks like he's asleep. Is the bear okay in the, at this point? The bear is dosed with a sedative, kind of like a horse tranquilizer. The bear is actually perfectly fine. He can hear everything that's going on. He can see everything that's going on. He's just immobilized. He cannot move. Okay. Okay. Um, you can see his eyes moving and everything else. Okay. Even though he took a pretty good fall, about a 10 foot fall, he's perfectly fine. Um, he bounced. Bears bounce. They're like jelly. So um, he'll be perfectly fine. What will happen after I get done testing him, there's a trap coming. What we're going to do is we're going to load him up and we're going to transport him up north about 100 miles away to the mountains. And again, we're in, we're in residence behind Green Street, I believe we're at right now. Uh, I think that's what it is, yeah. yeah. You got to bear with me, brother. I'm actually the Lebanon County game board. Sure. <laughs> so for those of you asking, we are indeed at a residence behind Green Street. I know a lot of people are asking. If you see this here, from my fingers pointing, it's a little milk tooth. The bear has four of them. One on bop, one on bottom. I'm gonna to attempt to pull one of them out, and then what we'll do is we'll send that into the lab, and they'll cut the tooth in slices just like a tree, and they'll be able to tell how old the bear is. But this bear is a year and a half old, just so I can just tell from its size. So obviously, a bear in Harrisburg, how, how uncommon is this to, to respond to something like this? Um, it's not uncommon anymore. I mean, yeah, he's in Harrisburg. He got in town, he got confused. Um, you know, you guys, Harrisburg's surrounded by mountains. There's bears there all the time. So they're opportunistic. They'll, they will eat anything. Uh, when I mean anything, they eat anything. So their nose is what gets them in trouble a lot of times. Bears can't see real well. They can't see that far in front of them. But they can smell up to words two to three miles away. And their hearing is phenomenal. So if they smell something and they hear it, they're going to investigate. And a lot of times if they see something and it doesn't move or whatever, that's why their nose and stuff comes into play. That's why people get scared. Um, bears of Pennsylvania are pretty docile. They're easy to deal with. Just give them their space. That's all you need to do. Um, they will hurt you. Don't get me wrong. But if you give them their space, they won't bother you at all. This time of year, if you got your bird feeders out, you got your garbage out, that kind of stuff, they're coming out. They're looking for food. They can smell forever. They're coming for that stuff. So that's why we tell everybody to stick their bird feeders away. For the summer, you don't need to feed the birds right now. Garbage, keep in until you're ready to put it away. Gas grills attract them a lot of times. Um, anything that smells like food, they'll come around for it. Do you think he swam across the river? It's hard to say. He came from, this one here came from Cameron Street. I came up over this morning, yeah. But it was swimming in the river. They have video of it out there. Where's the mom? 
Don't ask that. Behind you. <laughs> no, because they're <laughs> now far away from her. Oh, she's one. probably looking for oh, her. Oh, okay. He may have still been with mom. Yeah. Uh -huh. But he's old enough he can handle himself. Oh, okay. No, no, I didn't get any calls about Barrett being hit. Oh, good. I was scared. Mom got hit if you're big enough to miss a car. Yeah. Yeah. How long do they stay sleep with the... Until like maybe two hours. Um, oh, okay. Oh, they have a, a cage. Oh, okay. Oh. 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 You just tagged him today? Yep. Oh, okay. Just now. Again, for those of you tuning in, we're... Behind some residences in Green Street, where officers have tranquilized a black bear. Officials say he's about a year old. He was up a tree and they tranquilized him, so the bear is okay. Again, I think some of you might be commenting about the video. It could be poor reception. I do apologize for that. No, no, it does happen Is that a deer tick yet? Yeah, I don't know what kind of tick it was, but he fully used his blood meal, so he would have been falling off here pretty shortly. Oh my god. You gotta remember, those things are about the size of the tip of this when oh my goodness. little. Oh, that looks yeah. like he hurt. He might have had itis. Yeah, your mom's gonna love that I have you standing as your bear. <laughs> so this is what we did this afternoon. <laughs> See, I was born and raised in this country, so I'm used to seeing bears. I'm like seeing bears here. My my family's from upstate New York, so yeah. In fact, my father hit a bear one. I'm from that Gettysburg, South Mountain area. What's he doing? Tagging them? Bears, tagging them. Bears, bears, mountain lions, wow. wild cats. coming around. Guys, I need to get the problems. Did you get the tooth out already? Not yet. So the milk tooth is like. Sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're hard. Oh, he's busy for a while. He's just having a process. It's like when you go to the dentist. called a milk tooth. We'll send that into the lab and they'll shave it. They'll let us know how old he is. Um, and then if this bear keeps his tags in and he gets processed again down the road, all we need to do is type the tags in. We'll be able to tell how old he is, where he came from, that kind of stuff. So sometimes they rip these out though. How long will his claws get? Um, well, here, you can see him now. Wow. Can you, so how big would the bear get as a full dog? Um, it depends. He's a male. Um, we've had bear in Pennsylvania killed over 800 pounds. Oh. So. Would it, would it attack? Uh, if it's threatened, yes. Normally not. They're fine. I mean, no offense, I'd rather deal with bears all day than people. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. 
I've never even seen a bear like in the wild, let alone in the middle of the city. Usually I'll have like three seconds. Yeah, right, me either. Now, how much weight would he put on before like wintertime? It depends on how much food he can find and stuff like that. Every bear is different. Every bear has a unique personality like me and you. Um, it depends. Depends on how much food he can find. Some bears pack on pounds. Some bears don't pack on a lot. Um, everyone's different. Thank you for being so nice. Oh, okay. yes. no problem. Ooh. Actually, very oh. educational. Oh, baby. Oh, so do you sorry. feel like this is something we should okay. stay like on the lookout for, or <laughs> is this probably just... It's hit or miss. I mean, it had another tick. Yep. Yeah. Now, would, so would you crazy. kill those, or would you send those into the lab to get tested? No, I, I kill them. <laughs> I'm just doing it's him a favor. When bears, when bears get ticks on them all the time, what they'll do is they'll get in a water hole or mud hole and get mud all over them to get them off. Okay. Um, I'm just going through picking stuff off and they'll help him out. So, you know, he's a little guy. We'll help him out here for a while. Um, if you guys can see, you see his paws? Okay. See them? They have five fingers, just like me and you. They have five claws, just like me and you. A lot of times, if people find what they think is a human hand, their paws are almost identical to our hands. Okay? So if they find skeletons, and sometimes it's a bear, people don't know. But there's his rear foot. These pads here are why he can walk around so quietly. Okay? Bears are predators. They need to be stealthy and need to be quiet, okay? That's why their eyes are in the front of their head, okay? So, there's a si there's 600 pound bears that can walk up on you and you never hear they're there. So, but. Since he has his scent around here, I know you're going to guys it's going to take him away far. That has nothing to do with it. He, he wouldn't be able to find his way back? He's not going to come back here. Honestly, because being in town as much as he's been chased away today, I doubt very much this bear will end up back in here. Okay? Um, but the simple fact is he's stressed. He's stressed big time. Okay? He doesn't want to be here. All right? He got here because he didn't have a choice, and that's why he ran up the tree, because people were following him and everything else. That's their mechanism to run up the tree. But other than that, he's a healthy male bear. Year and a half old cub, probably. Uh, we have 100 pounds in weight. And uh, once the once we get the transport for him here, we're gonna pick him up, take him out, and transport him to the mountains and let him go. Bless you. So. Hmm? <laughs>